Hey guys, so <clears throat> another video in my little series of videos about my musical instrument stuff. The last few I did were about my guitars, and I did a separate video for pretty much each one of them. I'm going to get to another one after this, but uh, this video is just kind of bases and odds and ends. So this is my Squire... Uh, P bass. I bought this off of my friend Casey with the amp that I'm playing it through, a little Fender Rumble 15 for a hundred bucks. Um, it's a pretty basic bass. I've designated this one to be my sticker instrument so I can get all punk rock with it. Fractal generator. Check these guys out. Stickers upside down. There we go. Uh, Omnium Gatherum. Saw these guys live. Uh, Groove Gear were kind enough to put a sticker. Uh, big fan of uh, local band Crone of War. Um, <laughs> saw Iron Kingdom live. The algorithm are great. Um, this is just a Think Geek sticker. Um, so this is a pretty standard, straightforward bass. Um, the neck on it's a little... Like, you can see how high the action is. It's a little warped. And the truss rod adjustment bolt is stripped. <laughs> So I need a replacement neck on it, but all in all, this is still a pretty killer sounding bass. <laughs> um, it sounds very basic, like a regular... Sounds like a bass. <laughs> so... That's my first bass, and that, that one, uh, it's not the first bass I ever owned. I owned a couple of basses before that. I owned a, a Yamaha RB something or other. Very, um, very straightforward bass, kind of like the Yamaha version of that. Then I had a Yamaha BBN4F fretless, and that got stolen. For a while, I was playing a PV something or other five string that was a generation or um <clears throat> millennium or something it's really kind of generic name so this is my second bass this is my most recent bass purchase um and it is a <clears throat> sorry i think i'm coming down with a cold or something this is a douglas wob 826 it's a fretless uh, six string, and um, this is actually the instrument I play most in a professional manner uh, as I perform with the No Strings Attached Community Concert Band uh, here in Sudbury. And we do some uh, concerts uh, at the local college. We'll, we've played at uh, high schools, we've played at um, seniors' homes. Uh, usually a very wide variety of material from swing jazz to, you know, classical pieces like Rite of Spring or Mars, uh, Bring Our War by Hulst, um, all the way up to, like, the Beatles. We did a medley of Beatles songs and Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack pieces. Really cool stuff. Um, but, uh, you know, I've bought a fretless bass because I wanted more range. Uh, in my own music, I tend to play a lot of 7 and 8 string guitar, so a lot of down tuning. And I've always just loved the sound of the fretless. When I own my old Yamaha fretless, um, I, love the, I love the feel of it. It's very different, so, you know. So this is my awesome Douglas six string fretless. Um, also not a very particularly special instrument in any way. It's a Chinese made um, bass. Uh, it does have a couple of, in I guess it does have a couple interesting things. For one, it's my only instrument with an active pickup system. 
um, it um, <clears throat> is the most recent one to have gotten any kind of um, modification done to it as I've purchased a set of these uh, Dunlop uh, strap locks recently uh, in the hopes that um, it'll keep everything you know nice and stable while I'm playing live um, stuff like that and uh, actually funny enough right now I have it strung up with round wounds uh, you really shouldn't with a fretless bass but fuck it I um, a six string flat wound set is uh, really really difficult to find in Sudbury so so that is my this is right now my main gigging instrument. This is what I play. Um, absolutely wide neck. Uh, really comfortable to play, actually. Uh, stays in tune exceptionally well. Something you would never expect from an instrument of the caliber of this, like a sub $200 made in China bass, but um, I can, I've had that in my case for, you know, being lugged around for hours, bumping into every little thing on the bus. Um, it's taken more dings than any other musical instrument I've ever owned. And I'll pull it out of the bag and I might have to tune the C string up a little bit. Um, so now we're on to odds and ends. Now I've already pulled this one out for a couple of videos. Uh, just to kind of show it off. I have not done a thing to this. Uh, I haven't even dusted it. It's been sitting on my floor for the last, like, year. But uh, this belonged to my stepson, and it is just a little kid's toy guitar. <laughs> but what's really cool, though, <laughs> is it's, like, proper pickup, a proper bridge, a proper, um, like, the six strings, you can actually... Like, it is playable. Uh, the fretwork is bad, but, you know, what's a, what's a little bit of uh, filing and sanding? Um, what would be really cool would just be to take the body off, um, sand it, reshape it, Give it a slick paint job, maybe wire up like a really nice, like, proper, like, maybe like a Fender Custom Shop, uh, single coil. Uh, maybe even reroute it and just go, like, full, like, shred humbucker. Um, the volume knob that's actually on my, uh, Squire Bullet was this volume knob, so, um... But yeah, it would just be really cool to, like, um, take this, put some, like, fresh parts in it, and, like, tune it up to, like, A or something. Like, A or F or, like, just tune it up. No capo. And just shred on it. I do like, the, I do like the wide stretch arpeggios, like, you know... Something you can really only do with a guitar this small. Um, I actually have two more instruments, but I'm only going to show you one, because the other one's kind of in storage, and I don't really have any particular plans of using it for anything. But um, when you see me do any sort of keyboard work on a recording, this is what I'm doing it with. It is an M-Audio uh, MIDI controller, and it is basic as shit. Um, just has, I think it's, uh, say on it somewhere how many keys it has. Doesn't, don't feel like counting. Uh, I think it's 39 key. So you got like four octaves, which is more than enough for me. Um, pitch bend, mod wheel, um, volume, octave, edit mode, buttons. Um, just a simple on off. Uh, something for a sustain pedal on my USB. Um, 
I currently have this ambitious dream to uh, buy one of those Raspberry Pi computers and find some way to hook this up to it and use just this and that as a synth, like plug it into, you know, your front of house or whatever, and just that, you know, you don't need to hook this up to like a big bulky laptop or desktop computer. It would just be really cool to have a system where I can just <laughs> maybe even put a strap on it and do the keytar thing again, although I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to reach all this. Um, but, and of course the googly eyes were a very Travis Lausch touch. Um, the algorithm gets represented by yet another sticker on an instrument. So that is the entirety of my musical instrument uh, collection. Um, with the exception of a Casio um, keyboard that I think I paid 50 bucks for, it's um, not great. But for, like, just if I wanted to practice piano just sitting around the house, uh, I can. So that's it. That's my entire musical instrument collection. Uh, this is the longest video, but I think I showed off the most instruments in one video in this one. So, um, yeah, that's it.